Hi, I'm Patrick Redding, Creative Director on Gotham Knights. On behalf of the whole team at WB Games Montreal, I'm really honored to give you a quick look at our gameplay. Don't worry. Elliot Center is covered in ice. Whatever's causing this is localized at the top. Definitely We're going to look at a short bad. clip from one of Gotham Knight's villain crimes in a pre-alpha build. This mission is halfway through the Mr. Freeze storyline, and we're playing Batgirl a dozen or so hours into her character progression. All units at Elliott Center, air support inbound. Hostiles opening fire on upper floors. Air support, can you do a fly around? Freeze has recently returned to Gotham with a mysterious agenda that involves manipulating the weather to flash Freeze's city. We need a way to get through that ice! An important goal for Gotham Knights was that players can play all of the game, either solo or in two-player co-op. he wants a fight, he'll get it. Robins learned how to access the Justice League satellite for short-range teleportation. And while Batgirl has mastered some more familiar techniques. And developed a few new ones of her own. Heard you're down there having some fun. Fun's one word for it. Just a heads up, the chopper's under orders to fire on anything that moves inside. The Gotham City Police. Drop your weapons, or we will open fire. Returning fire! The storm is getting worse. You need to hurry and find a way inside Elliot Center. The GCPD chopper made that part easy. This doesn't look up to code. Whoa! If anyone asks, I meant to do that. I won't say a word. Tours were still going on when Freeze came through. Those poor people. They didn't stand a chance. Gotham Knights is built to let players approach each challenge with their preferred style and their preferred build. You know how cold it is up there, right? You want a guy to exposure? Be my guest. <laughs> this will only take a second. <gasps> Time to take the elevator. You'd rather take the stairs? These cables on the floor. Guaranteed they lead to freeze.
Valkyrie, status. Countless dead, and the temperature's still falling. We need to stop this, now. Belfry wasn't kidding about this storm. Almost there. Disruptors in place. It's charging. Get away from my storm engine. Is that what you're calling it? You don't want to be on the roof when this disruptor goes off. Trust me. Irrelevant. I already have what I need. Storm has risen over Gotham. Nothing can stop it. We'll see about that. You cannot run from me. Important element of Gotham Knights is that as the player increases in power and ability, their foes keep pace. So confronting a villain like Mr. Freeze can be a very different proposition at level 5 or at level 15. And not just in terms of stats, but in the kinds of attacks and defenses they bring to bear. And that was just a short peek at Gotham Knights. We're going to have more to show you in the future. We're joining Nightwing, also known as Dick Grayson, midway through the game story as he patrols our city. All of the knights can unlock heroic ways of getting around the city. For Nightwing, it's his glider, the Flying Trapeze. The Regulator's gang are engaged in a hacking crime, so it's time to bring some vigilante justice to the bad people. Each crime in Gotham Knights plays like a mini game mode with rules and optional objectives. Nightwing's fighting style is acrobatic. He ping-pongs around the battlefield. While you can play the whole game solo, you can also protect Gotham in co-op with a friend. Here's Red Hood. Red Hood gained new abilities after being resurrected by an assassin cult. Here, he uses Mystical Leap to move across the rooftop, springboarded by his own soul energy. Successful attacks and dodges build up my momentum bar below, and timing my strikes and combos correctly makes it build faster. Once the bar is full, heroes can unleash powerful abilities. Red Hood's ranged attacks are a little louder. He fires non-lethal rounds that still do a lot of damage. Here's Red Hood's Barrage ability, which deals piercing damage to interrupt armored attacks. The UI you're seeing can be customized to your preferences. What's on screen is what I like, but you can set it the way you like. Now that we've prevented the Regulators from stealing data, let's follow Red Hood for a bit. The Bat Cycle is usable by all heroes in Gotham Knights. Let's watch Red Hood chase down a smuggling van in Southside neighborhood. Shit has to 
Red Hood can unlock the ability to attach a bomb to thrown opponents, so he can detonate it with a shot later. It's a pretty good time. Now we're back at the Belfry, the hero's home base. This next sequence is from early in the game as we're just discovering the Court of Owls. The Bat Computer runs the map of the city and lets us pursue challenges and advance the story. Nightwing is tracking his next story mission, investigating the Old Powers Club. The workbench is where we go to upgrade our equipment, making sure that we're ready for each new challenge through the game. Players find blueprints and crafting materials by taking on missions and fighting crime. Each blueprint has different stats, giving the player a wide range of cool choices for their individual strategy and style. Gear with mod slots is better because mod chips power up gameplay properties. Players can unlock fast travel to get around the city in a hurry with the Fast Bat. Belfry, got anything court related? The Court of Owls. A secret society as old as Gotham itself. Run the city behind closed doors. According to the old poem, anyway. Okay, but how does that line up with what Penguin said? If this all powerful court really is out there, they might be the ones getting all those creeps out of Blackgate. Which means they've been getting away with murder for centuries. I hear you. Fingers crossed we'll learn more at the Powers Club. It's time for Nightwing to sneak into court territory. Stealth is always an advantage. I'm in. Be careful. Let us know if you find anything. They have a few guards. For long lunch too, huh? I'm not complaining. Nice to get a break once in a while. So what do you think the poor bastard did? What poor bastard? <laughs> as far as I know, I just got a longer break. Poor bastard? I wonder what that means. Every hero has unique takedowns and finishing moves. Ambush strikes are faster than silent takedowns, but make more noise. I can rummage in peace. Augmented reality vision helps the heroes solve puzzles and investigate mysteries. AR shows a trail of blood. I wonder what else it can see. There's something under the floor. The hatch is connected to some kind of network. There's gotta be a way to open it. Here we see Nightwing's elemental shockwave ability. It interrupts enemy armored attacks and deals elemental status effects. Try this. Cryo status freezes an enemy, taking them out of the fight for a while. Staircase. That can't be good. Oh, God. 
Heads up! For anybody wondering how this fight looks with Red Hood, check this out. Kill the intruders first. Then you can think about the rewards. Red Hood takes on a Talon Gladiator here, one of the Court of Owls' engineered superhuman assassins. You must be in bad shape. Better hurry. That must be whoever they kidnapped. Wait, wait up! Wait, hit me! I need a respect! It won't happen again! 